So for now, I'll just remove the plugin, uh, the thing that we're not we're not using. This twenty seventeen theme is a an inbuilt free WordPress theme with very limited styling, look and feel, and functionality. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to look at is how to um, update your careers page or a careers post or listing, should I say. So the more you add to this, more listings you add, it's going to populate down the page. And this is, this is called the sidebar on the right here. It's going to show up for every single blog post that you do or, or vacancy that you do. The way I've set it up, uh, vacancies, is very similar to if you were to start blogging. Okay, so I've gone to the page. Um, I can, from this point, since I'm logged into WordPress, I can always go to a page or a listing that I want to edit, like this, for job vacancy number one, and then I can click edit post. The other way to access any given post or page is to go into your dashboard, if it's a page, you go into all pages. If it's a post, you go into all posts. So there's our job vacancy one. So to edit it, we'll just go to, you just hover over and then click on edit. So this is the same format as a blog post. Here are all your publish settings. So you can turn um, the status of a post or listing on or off. Just click edit, pending review or draft. And if you make a draft, it will no longer be public. You can also password protect a specific page and you can always revert back to old versions. So let's just say I make some changes now and I click update, then there will be six revisions and I can revert back to any old version of this page or post at any time. The type of, of post this is, is a standard post, but there are other, other types of posts. Um, in categories, I've just got this listed as a job vacancy. Tags is like hashtags, it's not necessary. The featured image, oh, I'm going to come to a little bit later, but the, the featured image is the image that shows here, and it also shows here. Okay, all the actual content for the listing is contained in this section. The heading is contained here, or the title is contained here at the top, which is this. And on the vacancies page, there's your title. So the first thing we're going to do is change this to the correct title. So the title is Cleaning Supervisor, KZN. <clears throat> so I'll paste that there. I don't recommend that you have this written in uppercase. As it, the styling will then look inconsistent with the rest of the website. Okay, so <clears throat> the location then for the rest, we're literally just going to copy and paste as you have it here. So I can remove all of this other information, which I had as a template. Don't remove this section, the application, how to apply section, as that's not going to change from position to position. 
So highlight all that other text, remove that, and then I'm going to paste. Okay, perfect. So you will notice that there's a blank space here. What you need to do is you need to remove this by clicking the delete key on your laptop. From there, you can add spacing where you need it. Just press enter. As otherwise the positioning of the two elements can be quite tight and it's difficult to, to read through. Okay, when I pressed enter there, it gave me another block bullet point. So I'll just remove the bullet point by clicking there. So this, this system or this section here is very similar to Microsoft Word. It just helps you edit the styling of the text. And you can also add images clicking by clicking this button. So if you want to preview what your job now looks like, you can click preview changes. And just be, so what you're seeing here, people will not see until you click update, but it just gives you a bit of a look as to how everything's looking. So you look at it, it's got all the information there um, and then the application below. What I like to do is I like to give certain sections a bigger heading style. Job summary, main responsibilities, even this um, information here. The way to do that is to highlight the text and then change from paragraph to a bigger heading. So I'll make those a small heading and I'll make these next sections big headings, heading three. So you can just you can you can select the whole text or you can just select anywhere in that area. Heading three. Heading three. And I'll make this one a small heading. Heading five. And another small heading. Heading five. The other thing I want to do is I want to change this URL. This is a URL from job vacancy one to cleaning supervisor KZN. So I'll click edit, paste. Make sure you don't have any blank spaces and no funny characters like dashes or brackets. So cleaning dash supervisor dash KZN, click OK. Now I'm going to preview my changes again. So I've got my bigger headings now, and I've also got these headings here. So it's looking a bit.